In this video, we're going to go through a basic overview of the Ronin screen and app. There are two ways of tuning and accessing the features of the Ronin 2. Through the ultra-bright built-in screen or your Ronin app. Let's go through the essential functions for basic operation. Turn on the gimbal and let's try the motor pause. This temporarily disables the motors so you can quickly change the lens Add or remove filters on set without powering off the entire system, which may include your camera, monitor, wireless transmitter, and focus systems. If the axis is blocked or movement is interrupted, the Ronin will reduce motor power to protect itself. With the dial, you can scroll through the menus. There are several gimbal operation modes that can be selected by pressing the top left button to go through modes such as car mount, aerial, tripod, then handheld mode, the top right button will change the gimbal movement modes from Smooth Track On, Recenter, and FPV. Now, let's demonstrate Auto Tune to tune the stiffness. To begin Auto Tune, you need to select a stiffness grade. Usually, we recommend using 60% for handheld, and for car mount or aerial shot, 80% can be a good start. You can still adjust the parameters to fine tune gimbal performance after Auto Tune. Let's go into Smooth Track now for different reaction times from quick to slow on a single axis. Select the pan axis with a low setting. This creates a slow reaction movement and smooths out any sudden movements. Let's bring up the rate a little more. With a higher rate, the reaction time is much quicker and follows your speed precisely in smoothing out the ramp down speed of your movements. Push pan and push tilt allows you to position the camera angle without disrupting the motors. With this feature, you can easily adjust gimbal orientation even without a remote controller and when you reach your desired angle, just let go and the Ronin 2 will start stabilizing from there. The dead band setting will affect the amount of operator movement needed prior to actual movement of the camera. Let's start with 5, which makes the dead band window small, allowing the camera to stay closely with the operator's movements and now move to 15, making the deadband window bigger and now the range of movement needs to be bigger before the camera starts to react. To get the most out of your Ronin 2, we suggest playing with the settings to suit your operating style to get the perfect stabilized shot. The second way to access the parameters of the Ronin is through the app. With Bluetooth enabled, first connect the Ronin app to the Ronin 2. Just like the screen, you can control motor parameters, smooth track, remote control, and other settings. Under configuration, there are different profiles available to save and recall your personal settings so you can transfer personal profiles to different Ronin units.